Commander's Log, Day 3. Things have been going... rough. I believe that's the best term here. At the moment, our expansion has been met with little resistance, although there are several possible hiccups. For example, our ships at the moment lack the range to branch out spinward. Meanwhile, Brusodian has taken Alderamin, which was clearly designated as a future outpost, therefore has just passed in my area of influence. Now, this is an offense I do not take lightly. Um, at the moment, I have one fleet going to Lasath, which should provide enough reconnaissance intel, intel to make at least a rough guess at how dangerous Alderman is at the moment. Possibly not... I believe it's not a serious threat, but... Things may or may not change. Which, actually, at the moment, I'm at a bit of a dilemma. Observations prove that there is no fleet heading from Alderman to Lysath. Therefore, there must be a fleet heading to Alnitak or heading back to support this battle. More probably it's going to own attack, which means I might need to send my forces this way. Where they were meant to go that way. Anyways, on to the diplomatic situation, hey? Eh? We have established very close relations with Infinitum and Optron, as I might have not mentioned last time, and it has borne the first fruits. At the moment, I have provided my allies with speed upgrades, whereas they have provided me with better weapons and better scanners. Now, um, I'm waiting a delivery from Kron here. Um, we have a deal that he gives me a range upgrade and in turn receives extra speed, but the agreement is currently such that um, I wait for him to deliver range before giving speed, which allows me to go back on my word. I mean, there's no way he can enforce his will. No. There are some things that worry me. Observations show that most probably Thorizen, Thorizen, whatever, Senpai and Klesan have an alliance. Or with frozen chicken. Whatever. The idea is they have all advanced technology in multiple fields, which means at least, which points towards at least some um, non-hostile trade relationships. Unfortunately, they have also supplied Prosodian with these technologies, which makes him, well, able to contend with me and my allies, at least tech-wise, although clearly outnumbered. So, um, I'm expecting another, my researchers to have another breakthrough in propulsion technology to increase even speed even further today, and maybe, maybe we'll see my first engagement tomorrow. As for the galaxy, Avier, currently owned by Infinitum, 
was conquered by his fleet blindness. First victory. First blood. And, well, kudos. Let's just hope this doesn't backfire with it. All the things going on there. So, um, this has been Commander of Halcyon, signing off.